Uh, yo, people, let's get straight into it, innit? Joby Weibo Plus on camera microphone. Let's get this thing unboxed and see what's really good. Top that open it. Don't feel too heavy. Like, I don't know if you guys want to read what's on the back there, but if you do, you can pause the thing and read that and, you know, do your thing. We've got a little USB cable, USB C to USB A cable, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable. This is TRRS as well. So you can use this one of smartphones as indicated on the little right in here. This one's a USB C to C cable. Um, so yeah, you can use that for charging and thing. And you've got a standard 3.5 millimeter cable here. This one is TRS to TRS. So for use with cameras couple of instructions in the back that you guys can read if you want to a little bit of silica gel if you're feeling hungry later on and of course we got the joby wavo plus microphone itself fam kind of sick is that can you take yeah you can take that off okay so you can see the actual microphone there itself but you got this little foam wind cover that kind of slots on little joby logo there on this side you got two switches one of the switches is for safety track so what it will do is it will split the audio into left and right it will make the left track normal loudness or normal volume and you will make the right track 10 decibels quieter so that if the first track peaks you've still got that safety track that you can use for your footage you've also got a high pass or low pass filter, or whatever they're calling it basically gets out a lot of background noise and you've got some volume controls here so you know if you see that your thing is spiking um if you want to quickly toggle the volume you can make it 10 decibels quieter or you can make it 15 decibels louder or you can just have it slap bang in the middle at whatever your camera is set to Obviously, you've got 35 millimeter audio jack there as well for monitoring your sound. You've also got another 35 millimeter jack, which is what you connect the microphone to the camera with. You've got a USB-C for charging and you've got a little gain dial fam. I love having a little analog gain dial. And don't forget, you've got the power button. Now, one thing I love about this microphone is that when you connect it to the camera, you don't have to remember to power it on or off because it does that automatically one thing i hate about most other active microphones is that you have to remember to turn it on and you also have to remember to turn it off otherwise when you're next shooting you're not gonna have any battery or you might start shooting without getting any sound whatsoever so love that they have that very simple feature in this microphone forgot to mention you've also got a little led here that shows you when it's on or off so that if you're vlogging you can definitely tell that your thing is good to go all right let's give it a sound test and see what's really good okay so we already unboxed the thing um i guess we're gonna just put it on top of my camera now the thing i'm using is the sony zve 10 with the f 1.8 11 millimeter sony thing ultra wide thing you don't know the vibes already i'm gonna just screw it on top of the camera cold shooting one time and then um yeah get a little 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack put one in the back of the microphone there put the next one in the side of my camera just here and that should be pretty much it fam like obviously man has to turn on the microphone don't know i don't know if you guys will be able to see that but there should be a, like a little white light there that comes on to let me know why i go on in fact it turned on when my camera turned on automatically that's lit we like that we like that yeah 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 okay we're on we're on we're on let me zoom out we'll zoom out yeah 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 all right testing testing people we're out here on the sony zve 10 with the 11 millimeter but most importantly we are getting my voice through the joby wavo plus shotgun microphone just sitting on top um yeah i've got it in the middle on zero mode zero decibels whatever that means i've got the secondary track recording thing on whatever that means as well and obviously we got the the high pass filter thing so actually the high pass filter is off for this part of the track in it so we're gonna just see how it sounds um uh, but right now the audio levels look okay the left channel looks a lot louder than the right channel i'm not sure why that is unless what it's doing is it's making the left channel the normal volume channel the loud channel 
and it's making the right channel the quieter channel, which is 10 decibels lower. I think that's what's going on here, fam. It's because it can't separate the tracks for this video timeline. I think that's what's going on. Okay, man sees it now. Anyway, let's get this into the laptop and see what it sounds like. Yeah, do you know what? The Joby Wavo Plus is not doing too bad. I kind of like the sound that comes out of it, actually. It does quite a decent job at getting rid of those background noises. It wasn't too windy on this day when I was recording, especially in the middle of this park. However, I have filmed on a rooftop where it's a lot more windier and the little foam thing at the top did not do well at all whatsoever in getting rid of that wind. I'll try and put a clip in here if I can find it. But apart from that, I feel like the levels were cool. The sound quality was cool, especially in terms of it sounding, making my voice sound like what I sound like kind of thing. Um, love the safety track feature. Just remember to put the safety track feature into mono, mix it into mono before exporting. Otherwise, you're going to end up with uneven voice levels in a stereo configuration. Um, but yeah, apart from that, decent, decent little microphone. It's still kind of pricey though. I can't lie. Over a hundred pounds. I do not, you know, it comes with all these extra features. I get it. But um, I've seen quite similar, maybe not as good, but quite similar microphones for the under £100 price bracket that are equally as dangerous. The Rode Video Micro Go as well, you know, for example, um, dangerous microphones under the £100 mark. I'd like to see this microphone from Joby at a lesser price.